What many of us may not realise is that anxiety itself doesn't have to be a barrier to sleep. In fact, quite often it's our reaction to anxious thoughts that can make sleep more difficult. As soon as we try to fight or avoid anxiety, we're more likely to get really caught up in the anxiety struggle. And this is when sleep can become a lot more difficult. With this in mind, I think it can be helpful to shift our attention toward the function of our thoughts rather than their form. And this is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Hi, I'm Martin Reed. If you have insomnia, I offer sleep coaching programs that will give you all the skills and support you need to enjoy better sleep for the rest of your life. You can learn more at insomniacoach.com. Many people with chronic insomnia identify anxiety as a big challenge. The thought of another night of wakefulness, the thought of having to get through another day after a difficult night of sleep, and even the action of going to bed at night can trigger anxiety and other difficult thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia, CBTI, often encourages us to challenge, evaluate, and perhaps even try to modify our thoughts. And that's based on the premise that many of the most challenging thoughts we have might not be entirely accurate. Here's the thing though, our thoughts don't really matter all that much because at the end of the day, they're thoughts. Thoughts can definitely make us feel uncomfortable but they cannot harm us and they do not have control over our behaviours. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to put effort into trying to control them, especially when we consider how much effort this often requires. In addition, if you've ever tried fighting or avoiding difficult thoughts, you might know from experience that although that might have been helpful from time to time, it probably hasn't been very helpful over the longer term. Thoughts do not control the quality of our lives. Our actions do. Our behaviours are ultimately what determine the kind of life we're going to live. We can engage in behaviours that move us away from the kind of life we want to live, or we can engage in behaviours that move us toward the kind of life we want to live. And we can do that even after difficult nights and even in the presence of difficult thoughts. Here's the thing. Living a rich and meaningful life involves struggle and difficult thoughts, feelings and emotions. As a parent, I experience the powerful emotion of parental love, but this is also coupled with unpleasant feelings such as worry anxiety and stress. If I was offered the chance to eliminate all those unpleasant feelings in return for no longer loving my children, I would immediately decline the offer because I recognise that the love I have for my kids is worth all the difficult thoughts and emotions that come with that love. So what I'm trying to get at here is that we can still live rich and meaningful lives even in the presence of difficult thoughts, feelings and emotions. Indeed, it's probably impossible to live the kind of life we want to live without them. Instead of trying to control our thoughts, instead of trying to get rid of all the difficult thoughts and feelings and emotions we have as human beings, it can be more helpful to control our behaviours. And this is where focusing our attention onto the function of our thoughts, what we do in response to them, rather than their form, what they're telling us, can be helpful. Instead of disputing our thoughts, instead of trying to think positive, instead of evaluating our thoughts for accuracy, instead of fighting them, instead of trying to avoid them, what if we simply make some space for them? What if we can acknowledge our thoughts, allow them to come and go as they please, and then refocus our attention 
on what truly matters. Now, I'm not saying it's never helpful to evaluate and challenge sleep-related thoughts. I'm simply drawing attention to the fact that even if we develop new ways of thinking, that doesn't remove the old ways of thinking because there's no delete button in the brain. We might know that our thoughts aren't completely true, accurate, or even helpful, but that won't stop them from appearing. We just cannot get rid of difficult thoughts and feelings and emotions, and yet we do not need to, because our actions and behaviours are what determine whether we live the kind of life we want to live. The more actions we take that move us toward the life we want, the richer our lives become. The more we can live life in alignment with our personal values, the less we might struggle with the more difficult aspects of our lives because they'll start to consume less of our attention and have less influence over us. If we can repeatedly practice living the life we want to live, regardless of what's going on in our mind and regardless of how we sleep, challenges such as anxiety and insomnia might start to become less influential and less problematic. So I hope you found this short video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions, comments, feedback or suggestions for a future video, please leave a comment below or you can email me directly. My email address is hello at insomniacoach.com. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'd like to leave you with this important reminder. You can sleep.